please welcome the mastermind, Fred Lee. Oh, this is awesome. Basking in, I guess, kind of moonlight. Anyways, my name is Fred Lee, and tonight I'm feeling especially generous because I got a gift right here for one lucky individual tonight. <laughs> Fanfare, I love it. Okay, keep that up. Um, anyways, those of you that were aware, we had a couple of close-up shows that happened in the other room. And if you happen to be in that audience, you should have in your possession a paper ball. Some of you may have collected it. Um, just don't take it out yet. Just raise your hands nice and high if you, have a, if you collect the paper ball. So this shows me the number of people that uh, actually went to the close-up show. So <laughs> just put your hands down. <laughs> no hard feelings. Um, everyone's got their own priorities. Like uh... <laughs> Now, just to let you all know, there's actually one ball that is rather unique from the rest. Um, if you have a yellow ball, if you have a yellow ball, could you stand up and hold it nice and high if you have a yellow paper ball? A yellow paper ball. Right here? All right, and can you join me on stage? Let's give this lucky winner a round of applause! Yeah. Now, she makes her uh, exodus through the vast valleys and uh, seas of people. Can't really see her. There we go. Can't really make out. I'm coming, Good. I'm coming! All right. Love the enthusiasm, and again, congratulations. Let's give her a nice big hand. And uh, I guess we don't have a mic for you. I know, they're obnoxiously bright. Yeah, you know, but it's like the performer. Anyways, oh, you are a performer. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> By the way, uh, congratulations. Could you say your name out loud for everyone here? My name is Desiree. Desiree, again, congrats. That gift will belong to you in just a moment. Uh, but first, we're going to play a little bit of a game, and I'm actually going to show you and everybody here how to win at this very simple game. Three different ways you can win. You do have the paper on your possession. Can you? Good. Perfect. What you're going to do is stand right there. Keep your eyes on the prize at all times, because who knows what happens back there, because back's full of magicians, right? Mm -hmm. um, anyways, because that's yours. You don't want anyone to take that from you. Keep the paper ball out, because we're going to use that for this game. Have that paper ball and just put it in one of your hands when you're ready. Have both hands out in fists. Do keep in mind that the paper ball must be in your hands at all times, otherwise it gets pretty awkward. And when we're good, yes, paper ball in one of your hands. Yes. Now you're helping out just for demonstration purposes only, so you will not lose your gift whatsoever. You're going to get it anyways. So we're going to go on with the first method of winning this game. Here we go. That hand, hold it nice and high. Open it, yeah. First method is called guessing. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on to something a little bit more reliable. We're going to try this. Uh, refresh, Desiree, was it? Yeah. Now Desiree, you're going to do this. You're gonna, we're going to go into the second method. And the second method is this. this is some, the second method is something we call role playing. Okay, I'm getting some interference here. Someone in the back is getting the wrong message. Um, clearly, get your mind out of the gutter. That's not what I meant. Uh, moving on, <laughs> here's the role that you're gonna play. So there's two different roles. The first role is you get to tell the truth to every single question that I ask you. So the truth teller role. You're gonna say the truth to all my questions. The second role is obviously the liar. You're gonna lie to every single question that I ask you. So. You're going to hide the ball in one of your hands, commit to a roll. When you're ready, have both hands out and just say ready. For some people, it's a life to, you know, changing decisions. So it takes a bit of time. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> now, you're going to start playing your role now. All right? The role that you commit to, you're just going to start playing that role as of now. Here we go. Yes or no, is the ball in this hand? All right? I have a pretty good feeling of where the ball is, so I'm going to give you an extra chance. <laughs> you can choose to stick with the same hand or switch by placing it into the other hand. Go ahead and make your decision now. When you're ready, just say ready. Ready. All right. 
Now, did you switch yes or no? No. Now, most people think they're really good liars, but more often than not, they try to go for the truth. So based off of what we've experienced here, it's safe to say that the ball is in your right hand. Show it nice and high. <laughs> Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Get great results. Now, for my final and most favorite method, the psychoanalytical method, also fondly known as mind probing. Now, what you're going to do is have both hands behind your back and just have the ball in one of your hands and just listen carefully. Right? If your birthday is during the summer, place the ball into the other hand. This all happens behind your back, all right? And uh, just out of curiosity, just out loud, could you say what your birthday is? I, I'm just a little curious. Just out loud, just your birthday? July 3rd. July 3rd. It's weird, because I meant, because I stated if your birthday is somewhere between in the summer, then July 3rd, summer. Coincidence? You're not buying it, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you've had a romantic experience with someone, place the ball in the other hand. <laughs> She's blushing, isn't she? You can't really tell because of the lights. Yeah, right. If you wrote a letter to this person, place the ball in the other hand. And if, okay, we're keeping it so far so good. She's not falling behind, great. If the ball is in the hand that you write with, Place it into the other hand. And if this person, no, this guy, if his name has an E in it, place the ball in the other hand. Now just to satiate my curiosity here, can you say the guy's name out loud? Felipe. Felipe. E? Tui's? Spooky? <laughs> there we go. We got something. Okay, and the rest of you just sitting there going, okay. Yeah. Maybe in your heart, right? So, this is why I love this method because obviously there's a, you can learn so much about the person that you're working with. And just based off of what we got here, I believe that the ball is in your right hand. Show it nice and high. From you, that's your ticket. You get to take that prize, pick that up, and in fact, here, bring it up a little closer. That's right. Uh, let's uh, crack that open. Just show everybody what you want. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Show it nice and high a box of chocolates for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh. You see, earlier in the day, I actually had some impulse, some ideas, and I scribbled them down on some uh, wrapping paper. Oh, I believe it's this one. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, so this is a rather large drawing of uh, what can you make out of this? Is it kind of like a stick figure, wom a stick figure woman or a girl? <laughs> Coincidence? <laughs> out of all the people that could have ended up here, right? Um, this is just like a, I'm not that much of an artist. Do you think it's like Mona Lisa or something? Okay. But if you look here, it has a little, uh, it has a little bit of a, it has a little speech bubble. You got that other side? There we go. A little speech bubble, and it has a little heart through a, a Felipe. Is that what that looks like? Dear God, this is spooky as hell. Um, and your birthday, seven three, right there. And uh, I don't know what it says white, and it's pointing, pointing somewhere there. Um, you can talk to her about that. <laughs> this is a gift for me, dear. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not just happy because I gave someone a box of chocolates and a memorable experience, but I gave you all the gifts of both knowledge and wonder. That's my thanks to you. You've all been great. My name is Fred Lee. Thank you. Thank you.
Mr. Fred Lee!